The Sayings of Confucius from the Harvard Classics, edited by Charles W. Eliot. Book 1 1. The Master said, In learning and straightway practicing, is there not pleasure also? When friends gather round from afar, do we not rejoice? Whom lack of fame cannot fix, is not he a gentleman? 2. Yu Zhu said, a dutiful son and brother is seldom fond of thwarting those over him. A man unwilling to thwart those over him is never given to crime. A gentleman nurses the roots. When the root has taken, the root will grow, and what are the roots of love but the duty of son and of brother? 3. The master said, Honeyed words and flattering looks seldom speak of love. 4. Cheng Zhu said, Thrice daily I ask myself, Have I been unfaithful in dealing for others? Have I been untrue to friends? Do I practice what I preach? 5. The Master said, To guide a lad of a thousand chariots, on our business, be true and sparing, love the people and time thy claims upon them. 6. The master said, The young should be dutiful at home, modest abroad, heedful and true, full of goodwill for the many, close friends with love, and should they have strength to spare, let them spend it upon the arts. 7. Susia said, If a man honor worth and forsake lust, serve father and mother with all his strength, be ready to give his life for the king, and keep faith with his friends, though men may call him rude, I call him learned. 8. The master said, Of a gentleman who is frivolous, non stand in awe, nor can his learning be sound. Make faithfulness and truth thy masters. Have no friends unlike thyself. Be not ashamed to mend thy faults. 9. Cheng Zhu said, Respect death and recall forefathers. The good in men will again grow sturdy. 10. Chu Qin said to Chu Kung, The master, on coming to a country, learns all about the government. Does he ask, or is it told him? Chu Kung said, The master learns it by his warmth and honesty, by politeness, modesty, and yielding. The way that the master asks is unlike other men's asking. 11. The master said, As long as his father lives, a son should study his wishes. After he is dead, he should study his life. If for three years he does not forsake his father's ways, he may be called dutiful. 12. Yu Zhu said, In daily courtesy, ease is of price. This was the beauty of the old king's ways. This they followed in small and great. But knowing this, it is not right to give way to ease unchecked by courtesy. This also is wrong. 13. Yu Zhu said, If promises hug the right, word can be kept. If attentions are bounded by courtesy, shame will be banished. Heroes may be worshipped if we choose them right. 14. The master said, A gentleman who is not a greedy eater, nor a lover of ease at home, who is earnest indeed and careful of speech, who seeks the righteous and profits by them, may be called fond of learning. 15. Zhu Kung said, Poor, but no flatterer, rich, but not proud. How were that? Good, said the master, but better still were poor yet merry, rich yet courteous. Zhu Kung said, Where the poem says, If ye cut, if ye file, if ye polish and grind, is that what is meant? The master said, Now I can talk of poetry to thee, Zhu. Given a clue, thou canst find the way. 16. The master said, not to be known should not grieve you. 
grieve that you know not men. End of Book 1